Hi everyone. I've decided to send my old cyclone separator to retirement, or rather to the trash probably, because it turned out it's too small. I uh, bought a proper shop vac a while ago, hooked up the cyclone and found out that it's too powerful, meaning that it would suck up the dust before it could spin and end up in the bucket down here. So it pretty much rendered the cyclone useless. So at first I bought myself a commercial one on eBay, very cheap, not much bigger than this, and thought maybe it's just a technical problem of having a poor design, but it turned out that didn't do anything. The dust would still just end up in a shop vac. So I thought maybe it's just about the size. And um, yeah, so I decided to build a bigger one. And here it is, the new Cyclone, which um, is also transparent, making for, yeah, just great visuals and um, better separation for the power of this shop vac. I also have uh, bigger storage and yeah, it's also easier to disassemble. And that way, if there's any problem, I can take it apart and uh, optimize it to um, make it airtight. I also found out that this plastic is too thin. It's this type of plastic sheet, which is fairly flexible. So I had to stiffen it up with this ring here, which I um, hot glue welded on. At first I'd only put glue on the upper side, which was not enough. It uh, caved in on one end, and so I put hot glue on the other side as well. And now it seems to hold well, even if I plug up the airflow and create lots of suction. And it seems to work fine. I constructed this top part out of paper, paper mache, and just painted it white. And that's, that's perfectly fine. It's uh, very stiff and won't go anywhere. Also because the top part is held together with uh, a round piece of particle board. Very simple construction. And yeah, it works great. So I'm very happy. I uh, love the transparent look and the fact that I can disassemble it if necessary. Thanks for watching. Bye. And here's a quick demo.